Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, he spent 39 years in the car business and his career is still on a roll. His journey just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, these days, millennials and Gen Z's are famous for job hopping. They don't even stay in the same industry for more than a few years. I spent 25 years in TV news, and that was a long time, but I can't even hold a candle to my next guest, uh, Hector LeBron with uh, Clay Cooley, Nissan of Irving. 39 years in the car business. Yeah, that's a tremendously long time. Uh, I can't even believe it's passed, uh, but it's been rewarding. It's been a lot of growth and a lot of opportunity. It's a matter of hard work and dedication and mastering your craft. Well, I have to acknowledge he's got the voice of God. I always <laughs> wish I had that voice when I was in TV news. Uh, so t t tell us about the beginning. What, what was your first job in the auto biz? Well, the first job in the auto business, to be quite honest with you, was really while well I was in the military. Uh, I had the opportunity. Um, I joined the United States Air Force in 1980. I had the opportunity of working in the Pentagon in the White House. Those assignments were privileged uh, and uh, very special. Did a lot of growing up there. And uh, also the military provided me with a great life. But on the weekends, I would spend my time working at a car dealership, washing cars for extra money. Really? Never knew that I would be in the car business. I was supposed to stay in the federal government. And you've worked almost every position in dealerships. So you know it yes. top to bottom, don't you? Well, you're always learning, but uh, when you start from the beginning, it allows you to maintain a lot of humility and sensitive, sensitivity and empathy for others. You cannot be able to lead people unless you know what they're doing or how they're doing it. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of credibility with your team that they know you've done that job before. Yeah, it builds a lot of credibility. You know, when, you're, uh, when you've worked the service department and you've been a service advisor, when you have sold cars, which is rewarding in itself. And, done the finance decisions, and of course, you, you've got body shop, you've got parts, so all that exposure gives you the opportunity to then be privileged to be a good business leader. You bet, and when I said your career is on a roll, you just got a huge award. Would you tell everybody about that? Very exciting, thank you for mentioning that. Uh, well, uh, we just won uh, the Nissan Award of Excellence. Nissan Award of Excellence is provided to the top 50 dealers in the United States. And I believe it's just shy of 1,200, it's like 1,082, 1,072. And not only that, but out of there, they choose the top 15 to win the Global Award. It's a prestigious award. And yesterday we were given that opportunity to uh, that be presented by the executive uh, uh, manager, vice president of Nissan, Mrs. Oshana Hassan, and came by with my uh, uh, team leaders, uh, Mr. Mike Holleran, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Wheeler came by, also Judy Wheeler, uh, Bart Buttles, Misty Bowens, and of course our owner Clay Cooley was there himself, uh, and I was invited to be able to partake in that. A great honor, to be honest with you. Wow, congratulations on that. That, uh, that has to be uh, one that uh, goes on one of your highlight reels, for sure. Uh, I, if, if you guys have not heard the name Clay Cooley, you have not been watching TV for the past 20 years. Let's just show this commercial to remind you. Hey guys, Clay Cooley here. I've been selling cars in Dallas since I was 20 years old and have been on my own for 21 years now. I always say, come see Clay, and I wanted to give you a reason why. Buying a car is a big decision, and I want to make it where I'm the only place you ever have to go. So only we have the Clay Cooley family guarantee on every new and used vehicle you purchase at any of the Clay Cooley family of dealerships. You get a three-day money-back guarantee or a seven-day vehicle at change. Bring it back or swap it, guaranteed. Shop me first, shop me last, either way, come see Clay. Wow, and that is such an iconic slogan. Uh, <laughs> I bet you can't go anywhere with, with people not being able to recite it. No, I think it's uh, very popular and uh, 
we say it every day when we, when we uh, cheer off our meetings as, uh, as a kickoff. So, And I've been impressed with the growth of the company over the years because I think when I first came to Dallas, there was only one location. And, and how many do you have now? Well, right now, we just acquired another one, so we're at 16. 16 mm -hmm. locations. That's amazing. And uh, we've got some video of, I think, a new facility. Uh, I want you to tell us about this. You have to be very proud. Yes, that's a wonderful facility. That's my facility right now. The owner bought it. And uh, it used to be a Chevrolet store. But right now, we have actually built a 65,000 square foot building, climatized, both in the shop as well as the facility itself, including our service drive. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful place with plenty of parking, and it's actually allowed us to literally double sales, increase our business, obviously putting us in a position of recognition with respect to being some of the top performing dealers in the United States. Very yes. honored. And it is a unusual time for the auto industry in that uh, you know some of the chip shortages have, have really uh, caused prices, even on used cars, to go up. Is that right? That's true. Um, a lot of it is because, you know, Obviously, if the supply goes down, the demand is high, um, and people were uh, finding it difficult to find cars, obviously it drove the prices up. Um, I believe that over the probably next 18 months, things are gonna start leveling out, um, but uh, the prices have definitely taken a significant height. We take our pride that we do not sell our cars for over MSRP. The reason being is because you wanna sell them a car today, but you also wanna sell them a car tomorrow. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, you also have a really cool team. Uh, we, we saw some pictures on Facebook. We want to put them up because the Heisman Trophy, is that the real Heisman Trophy? Yes, it is. That's a real Heisman Trophy. It's part of the sales uh, activity that's actually going on with uh, Tier 1 advertising with uh, Nissan. And uh, they combine that with the commercials with the Nissan cars with the athletes of past, the yesteryears, that actually won the award. And now they want to be able to tie that into the campaign of, hey, we have champion winners here at Nissan also, so they provide us with that trophy. It circles the Nissan dealers, certain select Nissan dealers across the country, so that's awesome. really nice. I want to give you a chance to brag on your team because any uh, great leader is only as good as uh, his team. Tell us about, about your, your the folks you've assembled. Well, it's really, really been a big pleasure to have them. Uh, you, you're only as good as your people. Your people uh, are the ones that are actually going to represent you and to be able to provide a customer care uh, second to none, you always try to please them all. Unfortunately, we're not perfect, but I've always said it's not what you did wrong, it's how you come back and correct it that really makes the difference, and our people make the difference. Outstanding. Well, you've been an amazing guest. We've only got a little bit of time left. Any final thoughts? What would you like to leave people with? Um, well, first of all, thank you for inviting me with your years of experience on your show. I really appreciate that. Okay. I am, uh, I think one of the best things to leave people with it is in the auto industry, find your neighborhood dealer that's going to take care of you. Find that person that's going to be able to service your car and understand that a dealer is very competitive in the marketplace and they're there to help you and guide you in your purchasing decisions. Take an opportunity to visit us over at Clay Cooley Nissan Irving. My name is Hector LeBron. It'd be my pleasure to serve you. Outstanding. We're going to end with the website where you can navigate to, to Hector's page. ClayCooley.com is the website. Hector, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.